Hi there, Marius here with the resuscitation coach. On this channel we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. In today's video we'll be discussing the practice changes in the neonatal resuscitation program or NRP 7th edition versus the 8th edition. So let's jump straight in. Here we go! The 8th edition changes are currently rolling out and the American Academy of Pediatrics or AAP wants the 8th edition or the 2020 American Heart Association guidelines to be fully implemented before January 1st, 2022. The NRP 8th edition algorithm incorporates only minor changes from the 7th edition algorithm. It does look different than the algorithm found in the American Heart Association's 2020 Guidelines for Neonatal Resuscitation document, but does not conflict with the published science. The differences in wording and design is only for educational efficiency. Let's look at the top part of the NRP algorithm. As always, we will start off with the four pre-birth questions. These four pre-birth questions will guide us with our equipment and manpower preparation. First question, what is my baby's gestational age? Is the amniotic fluid clear? Is there any additional risk factors? And what is our umbilical cord management plan? Umbilical cord management plan have been added to the four pre-birth questions replacing how many babies. The initial steps have been reordered to better reflect common practice. In the past, suction had a higher priority. Suction will still be required if there's lots of secretions, the baby cannot clear its own airway, or the decision has been made to start with positive pressure ventilation or PPV. As always, we'll place the baby on the warmer, we will dry the baby, we will stimulate the baby, also don't forget to remove the wet linen and then position the airway in the sniffing position. If suctioning is needed, we can also proceed to perform suctioning as well. See the vertical line on the left side of your algorithm? This has been moved to the top of the PPV rectangle to indicate that PPV should start within one minute of birth and that pulse oximeter and cardiac monitoring can follow that. Remember guys, that the most important step in neonatal resuscitation is ventilating of the baby's lungs. Let's look at the bottom part of the algorithm. When an alternative airway becomes necessary, a cardiac monitor is recommended for the most accurate assessment of the baby's heart rate. Epinephrine ET and IV or IO doses have been simplified for educational efficiency, making it easier to remember. There is no changes in the guidelines for medication between the 7th and the 8th edition for epinephrine. So the concentration that we'll be using is 0.1 milligram per mole, which is 1 milligram per 10 mole or 1 in 10,000. Your old ET dose of 0.5 to 1 ml per kilogram is still the recommendation, but for simplicity, we'll be working with 1 ml per kilogram. Your IV dose or IO dose is also unchanged from 0.1 moles per kilogram to 0.3 moles per kilogram. And again, for simplicity, we'll be using 0.2 ml per kilogram. The AAP does not dictate which dose you should be using within the dosage range and that will ultimately be the decision of the clinician or the organization. The cessation of resuscitation efforts have been expanded in the 8th edition to 20 minutes if all appropriate steps has been performed versus the previous standard of 10 minutes if no heart rate was present. For more information about the 8th edition practice changes, link is in the description below. If you benefited from this video, kindly like, subscribe 
and smash that notification bell so that you are updated when we upload our next video. I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video.